Mic check. This is a Saturday edition of Stevie Solves. Today is June 26, 2021, and I will be solving the Saturday New York Times crossword puzzle submitted by John Lieb and Brad Wilbur, and as always, edited by Will Shorts. For those of you that don't, don't know, the weekend crosswords at the New York Times are always the most challenging, as, and Saturdays are the most challenging. So, um, as you can see, I've got every I've got a five day streak, which means I've solved every puzzle so far this week. But Saturdays are always the biggest challenge. I can always get chipped up on a Friday or maybe a Thursday or a Sunday, but Saturdays are the big challenge. So I just woken up from a great sleep and I find that my brain usually works best in that moment. So I'm ready to give it my best shot. And here we go. Test that uses radioactive tracers. Crux is cross or just zoom call figure might be the host second so to speak aid assistant aid uh, host answer that would be more apt at 10 down romantics dream Hmm. Don't have that one yet. Don't have anything yet. Actor Gula Gulager of TV's The Tall Man. Don't know that. Mixed up. Mixed up. It could be a variety of things. Um, a stir. Uh, I don't. I can't think of any mixed up thing that fits. Confused, obviously. Uh, Jack in the box part. I've seen this clue recently and it was lid. You've obviously got the thing that pops up. You've got the crank. It might be the lid. Let's see. Backing could be aid. This could be lid. Tropical island whose name comes from the Spanish for snows. I think the Spanish for snows is nieve. Nieves, so I think it's nevis. Pretty sure. Pretty sure nevis is a tropical island mixed up. See if this is an ED at the end of this word. They're searched for in a rush, ors. Oops. As in a gold rush. Count could be rely. Let's see if this is a D. Like some mail and laundry that would probably be sorted. Is this an L? Central event in 1960s, Inherit the Wind. Hmm, I don't know that one. Annoy downstairs neighbors would be probably to stomp. Opposite of 54 down. What is that? What is that? Can't see it. I'm going to just get rid of this taskbar. Automatically hide the taskbar. Let's see if that does a trick. There we go. Bingo. Okay, unpause the game. Back 
to okay back to this and scroll it down a tad so that I can see the clue all right 25 down opposite of 25 down is what it says so I still don't know okay file size unit informally I think that's a meg topographical topographical map feature seems like ridge is this odor o o a t e r let's see oh opposite older hmm digital applications I want to say it's something to do with toe, but let's see. Central event in 1960s inherit the wind. Trial, it sounds like. And then this sounds like rely. Like popping bubble wrap for many. Oddly satisfying. Seems like order and something chaos. Uh, entirety, redundantly, the sum total. I think this probably is host, if that's the T. Okay. Test that uses radioactive tra tracers. Oddly, is this an I-N-G at the end? Self-described practical originalist. Sounds like Alito. And this would be an N in the middle. City where Marco Polo was held as a prisoner of war. I don't know that. I thought, I know he was Italian. I know he did his traveling through the East. Hawaii ring is a lay. Stop and open signs. Yep. Reduction indicators. Hmm. This is an N. Give away. Let on. A German title. Certain Girl, Girl Scout cookies, Samoas. Ungrammatical title of a 1984 Cindy Lauper hit. Let's see, I have to think a little bit more about Cindy Lauper's hits. Cause of a feeding, feeding frenzy. A bell? Um, I don't know. This could be Frau. Oh, this is satisfying. Went on and on and on, yammered. Give away. R ration? No. Give away. Is this a U? Chum? Fits. Stuffs. Crams. Occupied 
leader, occupied. It could be they're busy. It could be that they're taken over, occupied, as in Palestine is occupied by Israel. Thickness, I think, is ply. Stuffs. I think PLO is the people of Palestinian liberation something. Oh, occupy leader, as in a suff a prefix of occupied. So it's preoccupied. Nice. Can you be less cryptic? Um, let's see, I don't know that one. Toponym in the Dairy Isle. Is that El Elsa? Elsie? Toponym. Blank Owens, a.k.a. Queen Latifah. Court figure. Or opposite of order. Opposite of order could be chaos. It could be a mess. Noted producer of blueberries. Hmm. Make an executive decision to move the camera. There, there now it's out of the way. Okay, cool. It's just harder to look at it, but I don't need to be looking at it. Stuffs, sates, speeds through Shakespeare. <laughs> highs? Oh, I think highs because high used to is an old timey English word of Shakespeare. Something in Mean Girls Revenge Seeker. English football powerhouse. Man U or Man C? Probably a U. It has limits. Calculus has limits. This is Tannis. Uh, when Ma is getting kin kit kittenish with Pop, Pat, and Carousel. <laughs> I don't think I know it. Um, goes along with the party line. Congas. Nice. So whenever you see a question mark at the end of the clue, it's basic, It's telling you to think outside the box. It's telling you not the line that you're thinking. Like party line, you would think it's something political. So the question mark made me think of other kind of party, basically. Home to the Trap Music Museum. Is it like Brooklyn or something? What is this? Hyperbole from one approach, approaching the buffet. <sighs> Behaves badly, acts. Trap music could be ATL. I could eat a horse. Hyperbole from one approaching the buffet. Popular reunion swag. Tease, I guess. No, oh, acts out. Master would be the or original. Jimmy Carter's alma mater, U.S. Naval Academy, I believe. It's the only thing that fits. Literary team playing in front of 10,000 eyes. I'm thinking like vaudeville, but it's not that. 
Romantic's dream. A th throng? I don't know. Let's see. Ozymandias is a sonnet. I don't know that. I just know that it fits. Okay. Reduction indica indicators. Literary team playing in front of 10,000 eyes, something nine, somethingville nine. Oh, Romantic's dream is the one. Reduction indicators are sale tags. Janice, I'm guessing, is when Ma is getting kittenish with Pat. June, Frau Genoa, giveaway, rat, rat, raton, radon, oh, as in you give away to the police. Okay, mixed up is addled. Something scan. Actor, Gulliger of TV's The Tall Man. Could be Klee. Oh, second would be Echo. Okay. Something scan. Answer that would be more apt at 10 down. The one. Romantic stream. Is it Woos? The mud, is this a T? Crux. I'm gonna have to come back to it because uh, I can't think of that word, Crux. I don't think I know the type of scan. Test that uses radioactive tracers like MRI or CAT scan, but echo is throwing me off there. And then this, it could be CLE, it could be the, it could be uh, the, it could be CLUE, I guess, the Medville 9, this is so. If this is a T, what do we have for crux? Uh, a now B. Crux is cross in Latin, but it also means like the gist of something. I'm gonna come back to it. This is Maine. I'm pretty sure noted producer of blueberries. I don't know that, but it fits. Serenade need perhaps. Could be like knee, something weird like that. Labor intensive tattoo type. Shading, um, sleeve. Digital applications. Could be pre scan, but let's see. Discredited. S C beverage steeped outdoors steeped something you steep tea serenade could be love discredited O B E L shoveled uh they're shoveled. Is this a D? Gloucester, 
setting doesn't really help, does it? Some bachelorette outings. Brunch. Uh, German granny. I want to say Nan. Blank Owens. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm still kind of stuck there. Still kind of stuck there. Go to. Visit. Arrive. Kind of power supply. Could be AC. DC. Can you be less cryptic? I can't put it together without a little bit more hint. Times when NPR listeners are engrossed enough to linger in their idling cars. Now, as an NPR listener, I can tell you that a lot of times I do sometimes am en I am engrossed enough to linger in my idling car. But, but what is this time, these times? This is probably an S, order and mess. What is toponym? In the dairy aisle, okay, I think it's Edam, the cheese from, from Netherlands. Court figure is, could be attorney. Some bachelorette parties could be out Sundays. Anyway, it's probably an A. Can you be less cryptic? Is this a W for right? Hmm. German granny. I don't know. This could be, this looks like an N. Something moments. Ungrammatical title of a Cindy Lopper hit. She, you. Sunday. Suffix with Jacob. Ist. Eit. I A N. Jacob. Hmm. Times when NPR listeners are engrossed enough to linger in their idling cars. This is probably Dana. Dana Owens, Queen Latifah. Can you be less cryptic? Dina, um, oh, you know what? I was thinking, okay, answer that would be more apt at the one. A 10 down. Romantic dream. I think that's T. I want to say it's pet scan. Uh, 
at 10 down. Toes. Hose, but that doesn't sound right. Um, A, B, Co, Do. E, foes, no, goes, hose, joes, hose, l, m, n, o, p, pose, rose, s, t, toes, u, v, w, woes, Y, Z. That didn't help. Suffix with Jacob. Can you be less cryptic? Lam uh, lay... Or something right? This could be like what? Times, like ordinary moments. Um, kind of moments discovery doesn't fit okay blank Westover author of the 2018 best-selling memoir educated don't know that a junket. I want to say that's a bill or a tort. <laughs> Something legal. <laughs> Gloucester setting, I think, is in England. I'm just going to put that. I didn't think of that before, but it fits. Jacob Jacobian, Jake, Jacob, discredited, A M E D, shamed, digital applications. Pre-scan, that doesn't really help me though. Labor intensive tattoo type. I think that's the sleeve, so I'm gonna put that in. Serenade need. Seems like love makes sense. Discredited. Shoveled, shoveled, like disheveled. Oh, a serenade could be loot or liar, leer. Discredited. Shat on <laughs> uh, beverage pre. I mean, this could be hot tea. Go to oops.
thickness. I mean, that's usually ply. Jacobian. Gloucester setting. Is, there, is it in a state? I'm pretty, I feel good about I feel good about some, something tea. I don't know if it's hot tea though. That's just doesn't make any sense. You don't steep hot tea outdoors per se. Something else, something other kind of tea. Gloucester setting. Go to attend. Sun tea. Loot. Or sun something. Oh, digital applications are press-ons, as in nails. Discredited. Showed, show up. Um, kind of power supply. Let's try ACDC. Something Westover. Oh, driveway moments. I guess, driveway moments, yeah. Gloucester setting. Oh, discredited. Showdown. No. Shot down. Sun tea. Okay, okay. Getting it, getting it. Junk it. Uh, can we get the across? Can you be less kipped at care to? Care. Junk it. Could be a trip. Cape Ann. Jacobian. Care to. Elaborate. Then what is that? Okay. Some bachelorette outings are, let's see, she, she boy. Ungrammatical title. She, she, <laughs> some bachelorette out bachelorette outings. Oma makes me think of Oma. C days. She bow. I don't know if that makes sense. S E A Spa Shiba. Bingo. Think I got that. Think I got all about them. And I'm just gonna guess P and T and you. Oh! My instincts were correct, but I'm really surprised <laughs> that those guesses worked. Pith. I know the word pithy. I don't exactly know what it means. Um, still, a PET scan uses radioactive tracers. I don't think that has to do with your pet. 
I think that's just probably what they call the type of scan that they do on humans. Answer that would be more apt at 10 down. I didn't think of that. 10 down as in toes. You know, you have 10 of them and they're down on your body. See, see this guy. Will Shorts is so tricky with his clues, but if you think of every if you can if you know the english language inside and out you can usually come up with the answer wow 33 minutes this puzzle was super hard it challenged me big time clue gallagher uh the mudville nine I don't know what that's from, 10,000 eyes. It's got to be some type of expression or some old uh, 10,000 eyes. That would be a 5,000 person crowd audience. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five different answers that go all the way across the board. Oddly satisfying. Care to elaborate, driveway moments. And then to blend it all into this puzzle that all just fits so nicely. Oh my, that might be, that's probably gonna be the takeaway of the day. That will be, you know what? Oma is gonna be the takeaway number one of the day. Uh, German granny. And then the second one is going to be Dana Owens, a.k.a. Queen Latifah. You know what? She's, she's such a big celebrity that I think it's worth it for us to know her actual name, Dana Owens. There you go. Wow. What a really fun, difficult puzzle. But hey, I got there. Uh, if, you know, if you watched that whole video, you saw me struggle at almost every single part at one point. And I eventually got it. So, and what was the very last part that I got? The top left corner. So for those of you that love to start in the top left corner, like I do, just keep in mind that sometimes, well, the, clue, the puzzle makers know that you like to start in the top left corner. And I, think that they sometimes intentionally make it a little bit more challenging to, I don't know, set the tone, maybe to throw you off, maybe to di uh, discourage you. So always do your best and try to try to make it work your way through the whole puzzle and then come back to the part that you get stuck on because just in 30 minutes from the start to the end your brain rewires and you're in a different state of mind and sometimes some things can just click i actually was had a had a mind about 10 minutes ago i considered just taking a putting it on pause going to do something else and come back to it later but i'm glad i stuck with it i'm really surprised that all my first my first guesses were the right ones and I'm very, very thrilled. And it's, see, the thing is, it's not only are the guesses right, but everything else was right. You know, if there was one typo in there somewhere or one word letter that wasn't quite right, all of a sudden you actually, I actually could have guessed the right things, you know, up at the top in pet scan and, to and, uh, and Mudville, and still it wouldn't have shown that I had it right, and it would frustration might have set in. So, super happy about today's puzzle. Dana Owens is Queen Latifah's name. Thank you for watching, and go out and make it a great day. Namaste.